currently have parental notification in the state of Florida. Um, and when a minor does seek to go get an abortion, their parents are notified, which does give parents a part, um, an, op an opportunity to participate in decision making. I do feel in some, in certain, you definitely have circumstances where kids are being abused and they can't go to their parents for whatever the reason is. And that, the way the parental notification protects them. But I also want to make it clear that it does offer parents the opportunity to participate in decision making if they have that relationship with their child. And um, so it does cover both. All right, thank you. Thank you for, so much for that call, Lee. We'll, we're going to move on to Dave in Tampa. Dave, you're on the air. Hi. Hi. The, um, I'm curious about the amendments or if any of the, the amendments on the ballot this year for the state constitution are from ALEC um, workshops or, or language that's been copied from other states. Um, I, would, I would definitely say that they were all put on the ballot by the Florida legislator. Yes, you do know that ALEC is behind some of them. And um, you have Amendment 3, which is kind of a di direct copy of the Tabor in co Colorado. So yes, they were all placed on the ballot by the Florida legislator, and um, Alec is supposed to be behind a lot of them. But well, we don't know that for sure. You're we, speculating. No, you don't know that for sure. Thank you for that call. I want to give out the number. The number is 813-238-8001. You can also email us at dj at wmnf.org. And we're speaking with Ayeli Hunt. She's with the group I Am Choice, and they're part of the No on Six Coalition. 813-239-9663. We're going to go now to Julian in Clearwater. Hi, Julian. Hi. Very good comments about the uh, binders full of women comments. Uh, a little bit of research, you can find out that uh, the way he characterized that whole thing was actually factually incorrect. Uh, that process was actually started before he was elected by a, an organization called MassGap that uh, put together the now famous binder and handed it over to the uh, governor after he took the office. So uh, he he did not characterize that correctly as to how that actually came to be in his hands. And the second thing I wanted to say, and then I'll, I'll hang out to let you guys comment, was, you know, Romney purports himself to be this expert in business, and that's why he should be elected. Yet after 25 years in big business, he did not have any women in his own binder that he knew of as good prospects for leadership roles. I think that says a lot about the person. And uh, I'll hang up and let you guys comment. All right, thank you for that call, Julian. Any response? Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think we've already pointed out that Romney is not necessarily um, someone who is uh, valuing women in his particular inner circle. Um, so I, I, I think that's pretty much it with, with that one. All right, 813-239-9663 or dj at wmnf.org if you'd like us to read your email on the air or if you'd like to join the conversation over the phone. I'm speaking with Ayeli Hunt with I Am Choice, and you're organizing a Get Out the Vote rally this weekend in St. Petersburg. It's at Janice Live, it's Saturday, and Gloria Steinem will be there. Tell us more about that event. Yeah, um, it's, it's noon to three on Saturday, and essentially what we're working to do is just really rally the left and get everyone excited about voting. Um, we have a variety of speakers, um, Carmen Sherman, Kathy Castor, uh, Jessica Ehrlich, um, Dr. Sykes. Um, so we have a variety of speakers that are going to come out there and get the crowd fired up and everyone excited. We figured the Republicans had their convention, so we wanted to do our own grassroots rally to get everyone fired because we really do need everyone to vote in this election. Whether you do it by vote by mail, early vote, or vote on election day, the, the key is to vote and not to stop at Obama but go all the way down the ticket. Down the ticket is really how we make improve our local community. Jessica Ehrlich is the opponent of challenging incumbent Bill Young in District 13 and for U.S. Con Congress. Yes, she is. All right, so the headliner, I would suppose, or at least the out-of-towner, is Gloria Steinem. Why, why is Gloria Steinem coming to St. Pete, and who is she for people who aren't familiar with her work? Well, um, Gloria Steinem is going to be here to um, um, speak at the event for us. Um, it helps us to bring more, ni more notoriety to the issue of Amendment 6 and down the ballot uh, voting in general. Um, Gloria Steinem is an activist and a feminist. 
Um, she, for me, is, um, I would say, one of the key figures in the feminist movement, in the women's rights movement. Um, she found Miss Magazine, she's an author, and uh, it's just a, she's just a key person in, in not only um, women's rights in all aspects, even when it comes to the Democratic Party and the Women's Caucus. And so we, we bring her here, not just to speak as a person who, uh, on a women's issue or Amendment 6, but as a person who understands rights language in general and the importance of voting and, and how that can really move us forward. What is the group, I know you mentioned it at the beginning, we were talking a little bit about the No on Six group. Yours, your organization is a part of it. How can people find out more about No on Six? Um, if people want to find out mo more on No on Six or anything we're doing, the best thing is to go to IamChoice.com. We actually um, break, have a copy of the amendment, we have the language, and we have the specific reasons you should be against, that it's, what's at stake. Um, and, or go to our Facebook, backslash I Am Choice. And we have information there and about our events and recently what we're doing. It gives people, the Facebook picture gives a good overview of the campaign. The, the website will give a good overview of the amendment. Once the election is over, Amendment 6 will either pass and become part of the, of the Florida Constitution or it will fail. And the candidates that you're supporting or opposing are either going to be elected or not. What's the next step after the election? What happens in mid-November? What's for your group? What, what will you be focusing on? Um, I am Choice actually right now we're, we are a political campaign so after the campaign we will be um, basically ending the stopping the campaign and I mean sorry at the election season we'll be stopping the campaign and we will become a um, organization and our main focus right now because we do believe Amendment 6 will, uh, will not will be defeated is to really start preparing for legislative session because if we can defeat a lot of these um, type of um, these legislation anti-rights legislation um, in committee, then we won't have to fight these kind of battles again in four years, and we can use our efforts to try to do something, some more proactive, moving in the forward type uh, activism. What's the size of your organization? When did it start, and how has it grown? Um, the size of our, our organization is pretty small. I mean, we're a grassroots group. Uh, I would say we started officially in June, early June. Um, we have several staff people, and then the rest of the, everyone who participates are volunteers. So, um, you know, essentially, um, I Am Choice is, is that. But I would like to let people know, um, you know, as upset as some people might be about Romney or Ryan when it comes to women's issues, it's important that we realize that our ability to change women's issues, our ability to say anything about what's happening um, as far as the war on women, that battleground is actually Amendment 6. So coming out against it, getting your friends and family to vote no on it, that's what's important. And like the, other, the, the caller pointed out earlier, it's really no on Amendment 6, no on all the amendments. And um, essentially all of them are part of the same agenda, and we want to say no overall to the agenda. And while you're, while you're at it, go ahead, uh, vote yes on the judges, and in Pinellas County, yes on the teacher's referendum. Well, I wanted to ask you about the signs campaign you have. I've, we've seen pictures of people holding signs that they've written that say, I am choice, mm -hmm. and there's men, there's women that are holding this. What is that campaign all about? I am choice is about really um, getting a face, a collective face to behind the I am choice, because there's a lot of people who think that, oh, there's just some pro-choice people out there and they don't know who, the, who it is. It's, it's kind of the faceless majority that we were um, trying to attempt to connect with. Um, the I and I am choice is actually a collective I. It's not I specifically, and we also wanted to bring that element out more. Um, and you'll also see when you go on the Facebook site, our I choose signs that I was telling you about earlier. Um, our press conference we had, we essentially had women do various signs, I choose to fight for equality, um, you know, I choose to serve my country, whatever their circumstance, whatever their situation was that they wanted to um, say, this is a choice I have. I should have choice in all areas of my life. Well, that's the voice of Ayeli Hunt. She is with I Am Choice, and that group is helping to organize a rally at Janice Live in St. Petersburg on Saturday. I want to thank you for joining me on Last Call today, Ayeli. Thank you, guys. And the, Gloria Steinem is a featured speaker at the Janice Live rally on Saturday. I want to thank everyone who called. And this has been the WMNF Drive Time News call-in segment, The Last Call. I'm Sean Canan. I'm your host every Wednesday. Maria Oliver has been our engineer. I want to thank everyone for their support during our recent membership drive. Last Call missed its goal, but you can still support our live local call-in show any time of the year by going to our website, wmnf.org. 
Join us again tomorrow at 4 in the afternoon for all the news from Tampa Bay and beyond on WMNF Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater. Mitch Perry will host tomorrow's last call at 5. I'd like you now to stay tuned for Surface Noise with DJ Lounge Laura Taylor. That's coming up right after these news headlines from NPR in Washington, D.C. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Jack Spear.